What is going on, beautiful people? It's your boy Hill Wesley from A Connection TV here on YouTube, the one place on the World Wide Web where we actually adopt similar connections and spot our differences. And welcome to my channel. If this is your first time seeing me, definitely follow me on all social medias, Twitter and Instagram at West the Good Guy. Listen here. Listen here, okay? I just got finished watching um 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 The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, Episode 3, Season 1, entitled Bye, Baby! Let me tell you, The Walking Dead is back. It's back. I don't know where she went. She went somewhere all over the place. She went to China. She went to Japan. She went to Maryland. She went to Washington, D.C. She went to Hawaii. She went under the depths of the ocean. But baby, The Walking Dead is back. What? Let me tell y'all, the Nagarera and Andrew Lincoln, baby, they can't do no wrong. They are the modern day Romeo and Juliet but just the interracial version, and I'm all here for it. I want to love like Rick, Rick Grimes. I want to love like um, Denai Guerrero. What you telling me? What? I'm sitting here. I'm, I'm yelling at the screen. Bitch, and there was a moment where I cried, ho. Bitch, this motherfucker episode was off the chain. Off the chain. I ain't never felt like this before for The Walking Dead in a long ass fuck ass time. What? And now I'm looking at the thing. It says creators, Denai Guerrero and Andrew Lincoln and, and Scott Kimple. Stop playing with me, ho. What are we talking about here? Produced by Denai Bitch, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Produced by Denai Guerrero and Andrew Lincoln and some, and some other heifers. Who the showrunner? Oh, Scott Kimple. Okay. But listen. Listen. Listen here. I'm going to review this. I'm going to review this. I'm going to review this. But if you are a Walking Dead fan, bitch, you better watch this show. Oh, you bet This show is everything. Oh, my God. Took me out. Took me out. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to go with my notes and then I'm going to respond. Ho. Like this video. Leave a comment below. Listen. Michelle has to hide. And she out here throwing heads. Okay. Okay. Boom. So boom, we get this little um, a couple hours before Rick uh, talked to uh, Thorn. Uh, what the, what her name is? Thorn Pearl. Rick talked to Pearl is like, hey, look, the lady that just came through. I need you to protect her for me. He, she don't. He don't say this is my wife. He don't say none of that. I just need you to protect her for me and like help me help you. Boom 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 boom. boom. She like, I right, cool. I got you. But she better not. F things up. Then we get to Rick talking to Jadis. Now, I remember Jadis was a junkyard, the junkyard hoe, the junkyard woman that was sleeping in the junkyard. Child, F her. F her. Like, I, I'm, I'm ready for her to be gone. I'm ready. <laughs> she effing things up for me. I'm ready for her to be gone. Boom. But then we get to Michonne. Now, Michonne is playing Dana uh, Bartholomew or Beth Yoon, whatever the hell, her, hell her, she told her name to be. And I'm mad it's only six episodes of her. But listen... So she has to hide, but she's sitting there doing a the killing thing. Grimes killed 68 in a row. She's sitting here killing the thing, killing the thing. Now, she get this white woman. I don't know her name. Some woman. And, you know, they're talking. She's like, oh, hey, how are you? Oh, did you watch the show today? The TV was on. Whatever they was talking about was pointless to me. Then out of nowhere, one of the zombies ain't died. Two of the zombies ain't died right, so they getting up. And so the, the, the woman, she fall on the ground, ah, a damsel in distress. Michonne hitting up here doing karate moves, hitting, killing one thing, taking, ripping the head off and throwing the head at another, at another zombie. Child boom. And she trying to hide from the people. Ain't gonna work. The scene where Rick takes his helmet off and just stares at Michonne as she walks by, it took me out. It took me out. The energy. Like, I felt it. My heart was boom, 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 boom. Bitch, I ain't never had a love like that in my life. I want a love like that. Bitch, he ain't seen her in years. Rip off the helmet and just stare at her. And she like, I know you want this. And she walking by. What? You felt it. Oh, you felt it. And then I wrote, this girl tripping over the Okafer. Uh, So now, now Pearl is a believer. Uh, your best a believer. Pearl is a believer and she believes in this system and she wants to protect it to the highest heights and so is Jadis. They both believe us. Like, this is some religion, okay? And anybody against the religion, they want them all gone. If the secret get out, kill them. If anything happen, kill them. 
If y'all destroy, kill them, kill them all, kill them all. Pearl and Jay, that's all the villains. But I think that, I think that Corporal, Cor Corporal, whatever is the main head honcho in charge, he the ultimate villain. But I digress. Ciao. Then Pearl becomes Command Sergeant Major Thorne. Okay, whatever. Rick is Sergeant Major. Pearl is Major Sar Command Sergeant Major. Whatever. Rick gives him shown a note with a plan and a sword. Ho, listen, when I tell you I was excited, when I tell you I was ready to go, but so she, they pass notes. Like they passing, you know, they passing, uh, passing, uh, you know, the reefer on, on the court. They pass notes. She crumple it up. She read her. And she like, we're, and he like, we're escaping now. We're escaping tonight. So Michonne smiling like, yes, baby daddy got us escaping. We're escaping, ho. We getting out this bitch. So he like, I left you a gift. So he, she gets the katana sword. Boom. So she, the plan was perfect. The plan was perfect. But Rick was so worried about these people going to Alexandria and killing up everybody in Alexandria that he decides to let her say, hey, if you love me, go away. Now, why Rick ain't tell her that Jadis was here and was messing up for them is beyond me. He was holding information from the wife. Now, Michelle don't know none of this. And Michelle is like, no, you come I'm not leaving here with you, without you, ho. I'm not leaving here without you. In my mind, I'm like, something about to happen because this is a perfect plan. He's zip lining the zombies. They walking through the tunnel. They about to get going. The canoe is there and everything. He like, go without me, ho. Michelle, I'm like, you got me effed up. You really think I'm leaving here without my baby? Yeah. All the shit that I done been through, or I done traveled to Mount Everest to get to you. You think I'm leaving here without you, ho? The very next morning, I'm like, she ain't going nowhere. The very next morning, Michonne, Pakine guy, Pakine guy, hitting up the zombies, killing the zombies. You know, Rick, Rick comes up, Pearl is like, look like we got trouble yonder. We got this woman, she wanna take your title. I think Pearl feel threatened. Michonne, whoop Pearl. <laughs> Mashona whoop her ass, ho. Mashona whoop Pearl ass. What we sitting here talking about? Pearl feel funny though. I thought Pearl, I thought Pearl was a G. She ain't no G, she a F. She's sitting here th threatened by dreadlocks, sitting there killing all these zombies. And, and, and Rick shot, like looking at her like, I thought I told your whole ass to leave, ho. She's like, I ain't going nowhere, bitch. You are, what you better, you better have some answers. Child, we get past that. Michelle, Rick said, hey, I need to talk to you. Turn to the right. <laughs> Child, they get to the right. Michelle, look at her. She take, she throw that helmet off. You, you better answer my questions, ho. But it ain't, it ain't no words. It's just staring. They staring. Michelle's staring head and ass down. Like, you, you, you did what to me? You gonna tell me? You know how long I've been looking for your ass? You gonna tell me to what? Rick don't know what to do but explain. But he ain't explaining everything, because if he would have said him Jadis, he would have what? But but Rick scared it in the mug, because Michonne is, Michonne, you better have answers, ho. Then, then Rick then Rick leave it with, well, I told you to leave if you loved me. If you loved me, you'd leave. Michonne said, I, you, you, are you, what? I'm walking away before I punch you in your arm, your arm that's, your hand that's missing. You know what I'm saying? So Michonne was pissed, and I was too. But I loved this scene. All oh, the scene was good. And then you see the grief and the pain in Rick's face as he's trying to, like, oh my damn, she's still here. Like, how am I gonna do this? Child boom, honey. <laughs> Child boom, girl. Let me see. What if I know? Michonne snatched the helmet. Okay, I said that. Michonne finds the artist who drew her. She said, I'm looking for him. When, 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 oh, see, I'm getting emotional thinking about it. Oh, this was so good. This was so good. So Michonne go through orientation. She get to see what appears to be like New York or whatever, Brooklyn or whatever. I don't know where the hell they at. And she see the artistry of the thing on TVs and cell phones, on cell phones and shit. So she look at the artist, dude. The artist look up and immediately know it's her. I don't know how. All these years, all you draw all these people, is she the one that reminds you the most? Okay. But anyway, the artists know her. And so you're Michonne. Yup, try to cast out the badge. Somebody in here know her real name. I think that's going to be a problem later. But whatever, I digress. He goes to tell her, she said, I'm still, she said, I'm still looking for him. Because he was like, he's been all these years looking for you. She said, I'm still looking for him. Bitch, I started crying like a bitch. I, oh, I was crying. I said, oh my God. This, oh my God, this is so good. Child, Thorne takes Michonne to where Okafer took them. Baby, listen. <laughs> 
was there. Pearl was like, what you about? Are you about the city? Are you, are you, finna, are you finna be a problem for me? Or are you gonna be about what I'm about? Child, she would draw that knife from the back. Rick, take her gun out. <laughs> Rick, take that gun out. I was about to murk her. Bitch, oh, she was about to murk her. But, but I think the one thing that was missing by this scene, they didn't show that Michonne saw that he was, like, Michonne was so fixated on her. Like, I, I should have saw, like, a peripheral shot where she saw and was like, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't see that. Michonne was fixated on Pearl. Pearl was about to murk her. But 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 Rick was about to murk Pearl. Oh, bitch. Oh, that was so good. It was so good. It was so good. It was so <laughs> It was so good. Okay, so then we get to the part where they they gotta they got this do this mission in the woods or whatever to, to save the front lines of the, all this extra shit. Pearl trying to be, you know, uh Mrs. Badass and you know, do well or whatever. Ciao. Thorn tried to Pearl Pearl Thorn tried to lift the machine. She couldn't lift the machine. And you know, Michelle wanted to help. And she's like, no, you're on clean up. No, you're on clean up. I'm like, girl, what? Like, what? She's stubborn. She's stubborn. I like it to be true. I like the Okafer better, to be honest. I like the Okafer better, but whatever. He got harpooned by Nat. Yeah. Love Nat. Miss Nat. Yeah. Miss Nat. Matthew Jeffers. Miss him. But he had to die. You know how Walking Dead do they kill people off? They don't give people a shot. But um, so Michonne took the machine and pushed it all the way out. But baby, hey, listen, the shot was amazing because as she's struggling, trying to push it through, trying to push it through, the guess who come help her, uh, help his baby out? Rick. Rick come help the baby. And then they ain't pushing together. They pushing together. They stop it. Then they take it away. Then it blow up, right? Then they start kissing. And I'm like, child, they about to get found out. They about to get found out, but they don't get found out. But what happens is the two of them on the battlefield start murking the zombies like it ain't no thing. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. And here go Pearl. Pearl upset. She mad. She feel threatened. Her authority feels threatened. So she gonna try to uh, shoot uh, shoot Michonne. Now, you know, Rick see this. <laughs> Rick see this. Rick take a zombie and put the zombie right in here. Boom. And Drama said, oh, such and so, whatever the hell he said, let's go, let's go. And then she snap out of it. Then she don't shoot Michonne. Then they have this fisticuff going back and forth. They have Pearl is upset with Rick. Rick is upset with Pearl. Boom, 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 boom. She like, I want her, I want her off my unit. You better, you better do something about her, or she's gonna be a problem. Boom. Then we get to uh Jadis. Jadis come through. She's like, I'm gonna be stationed here from now on. You're gonna have to deal with me. And I'm like, girl, what? I'm going to be stationed here from now on. She tried to go touch Rick's chest and Rick back off. Like, bitch, if you don't get your hand off me, ho. Then Jadis see Michonne. J Michonne was supposed to leave. Jadis saw Michonne left. But Michonne's still there. So then Michonne seen Jadis. Now, I don't remember Michonne knowing Jadis and who Jadis is and what Jadis got going on. I don't remember that part. Now, I stopped watching The Walking Dead for that. I don't know what season iteration that was on. Maybe y'all can fill in the gaps. But Michonne know Jadis. But here's the problem. Rick come talking to Michonne like she ain't got no common sense. And Rick said, I need you out of here right now and you need to go. Now, I'm, if I have to knock you out and throw you out of this city myself, you need to get out of here. I can't go back to our real life. It's over. It's done. And everything that we had is broken. And he walks away. Michonne said, I don't know who you think you're talking to. <laughs> Baby, they in the helicopter. They're in a helicopter and, and it's storming, bitch. It's storming. Now, I don't know how high they up, but baby, they high. If they're in a the helicopter, bitch, they high. I don't know how the hell Michelle, Michelle come take off her belt, open the door, grab him, and they fling out the elevator. Now, I mean, out the helicopter. Now, where they falling to, I don't know. Are they falling in water? Was they over water? Michelle said, look, I don't know what the hell you talk about, but we getting out this city and we leaving tonight. I said, Michonne, damn. <laughs> I said, damn, Michonne, what happened, friend? Why, first of all, why y'all flying out the helicopter? Second of all, what y'all finna do now? Because you know they're going to come hound y'all asses down. And then third of all, you don't know what jeopardy you put Alexandria in by doing this. Mind you, Rick didn't tell you, and Rick should have told you. But baby, when I tell you this, Michonne was so good. 
Oh, that show was good, bitch. I was like, what the hell? But I now I understand why it's good. Denai Guerrero and Andrew Lincoln are credited as producers on this. I had enough faith in, in, in Gimple for him to give me this level of, of a commitment to a show. No faith. But Denai Guerrero and Andrew Lincoln and all them other hoes that's producers, I see why this show is so good. Bitch, they giving the fans what they want, ho. What? Oh, it was so good. This was a 10 out of 10. I'm sorry. This episode was a 10 out of 10. This show right now, this show right now, so, uh, mm. so, uh, mm. first episode was a 10, second episode was a 9, because I'm not here for Nat dying. Nat did not have to die. He did not, I'm sorry, he did not have to die. He did not have to die. Episode 3 is a 10. Bitch, this show is a, this show right here, oh my God. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I'm trying to get into Shogun, but I'm not really understanding why everybody loves Shogun. I'm trying, though. I'm trying. I'm on episode four, and I see the potential, but it's like, damn, I need to get to episode 13 to understand. Like, I should, I'm on episode four. I should know by now why this show's so good. But whatever. Walking Dead, the ones who live, bitch, we in here. We in there. Leave your comments below. Let me know what y'all thought. Do this.